Hello, Temba from Tule Touch. And today I'd like to introduce our new EK series interactive panel. So just to start off on what's new with our panel, I'd like to highlight the external changes that have been added or upgraded on our panel, which include the two front-facing 8-watt speakers, as well as the 8-point mic array. With the new EK series also comes new ports. We know that we have our HDMI in and our Type-C in, but we now also have the Type-C out and HDMI out ports. Now the panel itself runs on Android 13 GMS, which is a Google mobile services system. What that means is that users can now have the Play Store or Google Play Store interact or interaction on the panel, which means that you can now download any Google Play Store apps and have them on the panel itself. With that also comes 30 points of touch, which means you can have 10 or 30 fingers interacting on the panel at the same time. Now, what's wonderful as well is that with the Bytello operating system, users can now also have the Bytello operating system integrated on the panel and also have their user account, which allows them to have access to the Bytello class program, which is a lesson preparation software, which allows one to prepare lessons in advance and present them on the panel. That also, also has the Bytello share feature, which is our mirroring or casting feature, which allows users to then also be able to mirror their devices, be it a laptop, a tablet, or a mobile device onto the panel. Now, what's also been added with the upgrade is that with the Node program, there's been certain features that have been added or upgraded on the EK series. With that comes wonderful new uh, features, such as the three points of object recognition. What does that mean? It means I can use my finger, the front end of the stylus, as well as the back end of the stylus to write on the panel. This can also be done simultaneously by different users. So one user can use their finger to write while the other uses a stylus. Another thing that's been added is the auto write feature, which allows one to, for example, write a word and then by selection, it can highlight the word and that can search smart write feature can then change the word and put it in a different font and one can then search for the word that they've written on the internet which will bring up different results for the pen as well as images that can be added so for example i can select an image and then i can click and hold on the image and then crop it and add it onto the node program a wonderful thing as well that has been added or a new feature is the partition feature which allows the node program or the screen to be split into two partitions, three partitions, or four partitions. And that can be done by having all these different screens uh, where users can then interact on the panel without engaging on a different partition. The eraser can also then be used uh, on this partition feature. One last feature that has been added onto the node program is the formula feature, which is your scientific calculator that comes with the node program. It has all your different functions from operation as well as symbols that can also be incorporated into the node program. One wonderful feature that I'd also like to highlight or a new app that has been added into our EK series is the WPS Office app. This is an app which allows the user to, to then be able to view Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint presentations, as well as PDF documents. Once you have it also open on your PDF or Word documents, you are then able to use the mark feature. One can use the mark feature then to annotate or to highlight certain sections of the document, and that can also be saved and shared with other users. One other feature that I'd like to highlight is the guided feature that has been added onto the EK series. Now, this feature allows one to be able to interact or do something on the panel, such as maybe an educator or a teacher would like to play a video in the classroom, but doesn't want to have the learners interacting with the panel so that it doesn't disturb the video. So that then has the touch lock feature under the guided. And once you enable that feature, all it requires is for you to then have 10 fingers placed on the panel, and that will automatically lock the panel and that means that whatever is displayed whatever video is being displayed on the panel no one can interact with it by touching the panel and that freezes the panel uh, and to unlock that feature you then again need to place your 10 fingers 
and that would unlock that feature. And then again, users are able to interact with the panel using their touch. And that was the new feature that I wanted to highlight of the EK series today. This is Temba from Touch. Thanks for watching.